I'm Fang Ling. I'm from Taiwan, Thailand. My home point is in Thailand, south of, south of Taiwan. Uh, I'm a software engineer at Emotibot, which is a startup company. And I just started my new job for one month. And my former job is at HTC. And I was also a software engineer there. <laughs> I'm Marenga, and I'm from Taiwan. My hometown is in Zhanghua, it's in Ningu, Taiwan. And um, I've been working in HTC for two years. And also a software engineer. Yeah, and it's my first job. Um, my job is about research on deep learning, machine learning, and also development. Okay. Uh, in my job, I have to read some papers, survey evidence, and implement, do experiments. It's a bit like in universities. And I really like my job because there are many problems I have to solve, which is very difficult and interesting. Like, <laughs> stressful, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why is it stressful? No, no. For me, it's fine. Uh, it's okay. For yeah. me, the stress is not that high because we are developing new products. We have no pressure. Like we have to, uh, we have to solve something tomorrow, and I have to work all night. No. No. Okay. Um, yeah, we have longer time to do the research. Yeah. And you know people that are stressed or uh, that have that problem? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I invite her. Ah, <laughs> right. Nice. Uh, tell us about it, please. <laughs> so I'm a good sample of uh, busy worker. Mm -hmm. Busy worker, yeah. <laughs> Stressful. Okay, my job. Um, I think it's a little hard to describe. Um, we the product is this uh, intelligent phone mm -hmm. and. My part is to make it work to to make phone call, or you can uh, surf the int uh, internet. Yeah, that is the wireless service part. That is my job. Okay. Mm. Sounds difficult. She's <laughs> our hero. Like, always being able to go on the internet and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's her. <laughs> and how many hours do you work a day then? Oh, really? um, Averagely, it will be about nine hours, and if the project is very tight, very close to 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 end, to finish, then sometimes I work uh, more than twelve hours. Um, I think max is to up to sixteen hours. <laughs> sixteen hours yeah. a day. That's quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, whoa! <laughs> and does that That's, happen? That often? is when some. Happens that uh, just uh, I have to solve some issue before tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Oh. And does so it happen a lot that you have to work that long? A project will last about four months, mm -hmm. and just before the project is going to finish, that uh, the last week will be the busiest week. So yeah. in that week, I can. Sometimes we reach to 16 hours and about, about uh, three or four days. Yeah. Rate your stress level at a scale from 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. How stressed are you? What would you give yourself? For me, I think 6 or 7. 6 or 7. On average or right now? Uh, on average. Right. Mm, because sometimes I want to do the job better, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not from the top, but from myself. Yeah. All right. And what about you? Mm. Uh, it's uh, about seven or eight. Really? Yeah. Then I'm four. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mm. Yes. That's sad. And on what way do you think you get used to it? Like because for the first year. Like the first year, the scale I can choose maybe nine or ten, but the second year I think I'm more familiar with 
I think that is because of me. myself push myself too too hard. Other people they um, sometimes they will work uh, till very late, but usually they go home early than me. Oh. oh. Yeah. So that's the problem. It's myself. That's my problem. <laughs> So does the pressure only come from yourself or also from like colleagues or management that is like hurry up or no you got to finish this or is it just yourself that want to achieve, wants to achieve more? Only like 50-50, 50, 50. 50 from my boss, from, from my manager, from my manager, manager and 50% from myself. And in what way does your manager like put stress on you? Like, what what does he do that you feel yeah stressed about sometimes? Mm, sometimes I receive mails and you know, that is a uh, tasks. Uh, some tasks was assigned in the mail and asked me to finish them before today. If 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 my manager assigned those tasks very early then I if I cannot finish then I will discuss with him with yeah. him. But sometimes if it's late it's late and like I go to have dinner and I like, came back I saw those letters and and my manager has already went home so I cannot discuss with him. <coughs> so I have to finish that. Yeah. And many of my friends are quite stressful on their job. But I think we are still young, so I think the stress level for young learners are higher, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. And, is, and is that for the same reason as you said, like, I'm getting more used to it? Or is it because it's really the work that is stressful? It's the culture. The culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the culture? From when we were at school or at universities, we were asked to hear what supervisors say, like you have to finish this and we just finish. We, we seldom think about if, if it's worth to do that or uh, if I can do that in such a short time. We, we seldom think about it. So I think from when we were young, we get used to do that. When someone told us to do something, we just do it. Like when I was um, when I was still studying in graduated institution, and my professor, uh, my professor always assigned, you know, just like my manager assigned things just uh, at night, and then as a year to finish before tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I would send him an do. email and back. We cannot say anything. Yeah. And or he will put uh, the uh, story like I I I don't want to let you bridge it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, have wow. the, I have the same problem. <laughs> Even after I graduated, <coughs> I was I was I I already started working that mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. and my professor sent me email to ask me. Uh, to do the experiment for the paper we submitted and yeah he was pushing me to do that oh. even after I graduated so actually teachers are putting a lot of pressure on their students as well yeah. and is it also I have to say more than more than employee professors are pushing more stress to the students than the managers push the stress and the Yeah, right, okay. Huh. So do you think like the professors are like taking the power they have and just make mm. everyone do it just for their own yes. sake yeah. instead yes. of the mm. sake? Yeah? Yeah. Almost it's like colleagues, we are more great. Yeah. So they don't they don't tell us to do something but we we do something together. It's not a very bureaucratical mm -hmm. company, it's, it's more... Like teamwork. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. more teamwork, yeah. So it's better. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's better. I feel less stressful. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Elementary school, we have six years. And after that, we go to junior high school without entrance exam. Mm -hmm. So we choose the school depends on our location. And after that, we have to take entrance e exam to go to high school. And we have uh, vocational senior high school and normal senior high school. And then after three years, we go to universities or universities of applied science. Applied science. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Science and technology, not applied science. Yeah. And uh, you mean the stressful or mm. the difference? Is it the same that teachers put a lot of pressure, pressure on um, children in primary school as in high school? In the elementary I think school, that, it's fine. That what? depends on location. Really? Like, <laughs> really? Uh, students yeah. in, in the city, they will be more stressful. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but in uh, downtown or rural area, they will be more easy. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why, why that? Why? Because, <laughs> because of the parents yeah. are in higher level in the city, mm -hmm. like in Taipei. Like from they are teachers, lawyers, doctors, so they have higher expectations to their children. Mm -hmm. And so they probably push them to the crime school to learn piano, guitar or oh, wow. something. Or learn more Chinese, Chinese English, yeah. mathematics, science. Okay, yeah. so also parents push their children yes. to do more and have extra lessons and... Yes. And yeah. from what age on does that start? Like, does it start <laughs> like <laughs> from... Start from... Oh, yeah. Yeah, which age? Like in the elementary, the third grade start. <laughs> some of them, some of the parents even sent their <laughs> children to when they are in kindergarten yeah. with English, in English. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> if they want them to learn English from oh, there. Okay. And so, the, the parent, the, yeah, the, the ones that live in the city and have a higher income, they want, they push their children more than the, than the parents in villages and yeah. other areas. Yes. Because they have more money, they want the children to do better. Yes. And I think they are poor because the children are poor because they don't have so much freedom to do something they like. Yeah. 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 We were also wondering how it is going with the housing. For example, I'm living with my parents now and I decide, all right, I want to go live on my own. If we go to universities in another city, we, yeah, we usually move out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But many people after they graduate, they just go home. Mm -hmm. mm, but I think it's not that difficult to do that. All right. In Hong Kong, for example, mm -hmm. uh, if uh, from the family on there was really a lot of pressure to uh, to be like a high level uh, in a company and to make a lot of money, that was very important for them. And not only uh, because they needed the money, but more because of the status symbol it was to be a high earning yeah, person and is that here as well or is money not playing that huge of a role it's more if you have enough money to survive it's fine i think it's still very important to money. if we don't get higher salary mm, like our relatives or Parents will say, why do you earn so, so little? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. Some people have to uh, have to keep a part of their salary to parents. For yeah, like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have to share our salary with our families. Mm -hmm. and, and also, parents or <laughs> many people like to compare the salary. Yeah. <laughs> like whenever I went home, went to my hometown and they always ask me, oh, what's your salary now? Really? Yeah. <laughs> and like my oh. aunt, she said, oh, you you are engineers and you have the so high payment. And my daughter is the nurse. She she worked really hard, but she, she doesn't earn so much. And I was like, what? 
<laughs> yeah, they really yeah. like to do the com comparison. Yeah. 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 Um, you said you're quite stressed, actually. And um, how does it affect you? Your body? Do you sometimes have a headache or lack yeah, of sleep? Like right now. <laughs> like right now? A yeah. little headache. Oh. But it's been. It is the second year, so I in this in the safe stage. I feel a little stressed out. So I'm trying to find other ways to. To not be so exhausted. I'm still figuring out. You're still figuring out. And what kind yeah. of things uh, do you try? Uh, like join some group uh, that practicing English, <laughs> <coughs> learning other things than my professional stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I will have a small concert. Really? In <laughs> September. Oh, cool. So I, I'm practicing with my 